You know, I want to start with saying Mass Can has done a lot for the people of uh, Massachusetts and New England. And so let's give it up real quick for the kids who bust their ass for no money. This is a volunteer organization, Mass Can. There's a bunch of kids walking around with buckets. If you haven't put money in the bucket, please do. This is not free to do out here. This takes a lot of time, energy, and dedication. And this organization to see it deserves to be well funded. Every one of you would pay five bucks to come to this party. Every one of you. There's weed out here. There's people who like weed. There's good people who like weed here. So I'm happy that you guys can join us out here. Um, I've been honored to be in Massachusetts for a little bit over a year, um, opening the Northeastern Institute of Cannabis. Um, it's gonna be the first officially licensed trade school in New England, serving the cannabis industry. And uh, we've got about a 50 hour certification course where you can come and figure out where you fit into this industry, where you can do what you love for a living. So if you're interested, we're at instituteofcannabis.com. We're enrolling students now. Uh, we're about 10 days out from our first classes. You can still get in. So please do that. We would love to have you and teach you all about weed. Uh, I came out here last year, and I came out here and um, we all got together and we said these words. So it's your job, right? I'm an activist, but you're an activist. You decided to show up here today and stand up and say, you know what? I like weed and I'm a good person. So I would like everybody together, we're gonna start here, right? And then I got one more thing for you and I'll get out of your hair. We're gonna say, I like weed. And I'm a good person, all right? All together, I want everybody in this park to join me. This is how we're gonna change the world, okay? One person at a time. You stand up, and you stand up, and you stand up, and we all stand up. And we say, you know what? We don't deserve to be discriminated against. We don't deserve to have to hide in our cars. We don't deserve to have to have people search our vehicles because we smell like weed. Which, thanks to Mask Hand, they can't do here in Massachusetts. Yeah. Right? Stay out of my shit. It's just freedom. <laughs> but anyway, so on the count of three, join me, please. Let's, let's shake the earth with this one. Let's let them know we're coming and we want our freedom. So one, two, three. I like weed and I'm a good person. You got that? Can you tell your mom about that? Can you tell the mom on your kid's soccer team about that? The lady in line at the grocery store, can you hit her up and say, you know what? I like weed and I'm a good person. When I get stoned, you know, you, 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 I buy that same ice cream. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> so uh, that's great. Now I got one more thing. I got a mom out here who's, uh, whose kid can't get medicine because of prohibition. So I've got another one for you this year. All right? And it's not just that. We got people in jail today for decades because they sold weed or they had too much weed or whatever the fuck the problem is. You know, no sky is falling. Colorado's had weed legal for a long time. We've had a lot of weed in California. There's no sky. Show me the bodies in the name of Jack Herrera. Show me the goddamn bodies. <laughs> but when we're keeping people from feeling better, when we're driving people to drink more because they've got to take a piss test at work, or they're on probation, or whatever the fucking reason is that they can't smoke weed. I get mad. Are you mad? All right, so we got one more this year. You're gonna take this one out. I am mad about prohibition. It's simple. But you tell everybody, I am sick of this. It's enough. Let's end this madness. And you take it to your legislators, you write your Congress people, call the fucking White House. It doesn't matter, but be mad. Because there's a mom here right now who cries every night 
if she doesn't know if her daughter Caesars could stop if she had access to safe medicine. And her name's Jill. She's a real person. And her kid's daughter's name is Haley. And you should be pissed off for Jill. Because she shouldn't have to wonder if her kid who has seizures every day could be better if they just had access to safe medicine. So here we go. Last one. I'm going to get out of here. On the count of three, I'm mad about prohibition, all right? One, two, three. I am mad about prohibition. Take that with you everywhere you go. Be mad. Let it hurt your stomach when you wake up in the morning. And then do some shit about it. Yeah. It's not my job to make weed legal for you. It's your fucking job. Do your goddamn job. Tell people you like weed, you're a good person, and you're mad about prohibition. Thank you, Boston. I love this town. I love what you guys have done with the place. Let's keep working. Next, we're going to bring up two guys who've been on the radio airwaves here for a long time. We got Mike Shu from WAAF and Mikey Adams from their sister station, WEI. You might have heard our commercials on their stations. Mike Shu recorded them. Um, we love working with those guys and their advocacy and their voice brings a lot to the game. So without further ado, bring on the legends of the radio airwaves of Boston, Mike Shu and Mikey Adams. Give me an F. Mickey Martin. Let's hear from Mickey Martin. The man is passionate. How's everybody doing? Are we having fun? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah? It smells yeah. fun out there. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm Mike Shue from WAF. This is my colleague from down the hall, Mikey Adams from WEEI. I'm going to say a little bit, and then Mike's going to tell a bunch of off-color jokes to make everyone feel awkward. So I'm just going to prepare you for that right now. Thank you very much for coming out. It's all about support. It's about supporting. It's about coming to events like this. It's about getting with the folks at MassCan and Normal and finding out what you can do to help legalize in 2016. And you say, well, my vote doesn't count. If you're one of those people, you can vote as much as you want. Well, yeah, they passed the medicinal marijuana law. And I know that's having a lot of problems right now, but you gotta keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on with your vote. The state house is right over there. Make sure you let them know today. Send all that sweet smelling stuff right over that way and let them know. We're here, we wanna legalize it in 2016, so you gotta get out there and vote.